Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining the session. Um, welcome. Uh, my name is Frederick Kiel, and I'm welcoming you to this session where we're actually going to be discussing on the NQR and how the campaign if, and, and, and all about the future of the NQR. Um, my colleague on the um, on this Zoom meeting um, is Chiwindu. Um, she's on the she a uh, video Kiri. She'll be my co-host for this session. Perfect. Um, so, um, Chiwendo, please, I'd like you to nudge me if there are any questions or any hands or any, in the in, uh, hands raised so I can quickly address those, those um, comments or questions raised. So, thank you very much, everyone. Um, thank you for making our time. Again, as I said, Frederick Q and Chiwendo taking you through the journey of NQR. Now, what do we expect to gain from this session or this training? These are the four key highlights. Um, you would know what NQR is. That's our objective. We need to let you know what NQR is, and you can actually you can actually tell us and train us on what NQR is all about. You also know how it works. The, the 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 operations, the dynamics around that can be used. You will also know all this by the end of this training. You know the benefits to your institution, and when I say your institution, your balance sheet, your PL for your branch, your customers. And you, who are your merchants? You have you actually understand the benefits to them and appreciate these benefits. Um, but what exactly is the QR itself? The QR is a quick response code that is designed like a barcode, like on my on the right, so you can look at my screen, and it's max data. Now, what we've done in need is to take the same QR itself and map the on our payment rails and develop the Nigeria QR which implies a QR, you scan it, you can actually process payment. So as I was saying, um, the QR code itself, as I said earlier, it's actually a barcode with tokens. But what we've done in NIBS is to now layer this with a payment infrastructure, our payment infrastructure whereby you can now actually make payments using this QR. So our QR, NIBS, the NQR itself, once you scan it, it generate, you can actually make payments with on it. Now, this token is actually max data and what kind of data have been maxed. All the information required to make a payment, we've actually put it in this QR so that it's seamless. You don't need to start typing any information, asking people for their bank details or whatever. Just scan this QR image you've seen and it's able to trigger a payment to be made. There are actually two types of QR. There's a static QR and a dynamic. Now, there's a static fixed amount, which implies that once you scan this QR image on my, on, on, on my left, it will return to you a fixed amount. You can't input any amount and you just complete your payment. It can be it can be printed, it's reusable, it does the validation, the payment amount is fixed, so you can't change it. Now, static variable, and I'll use, give you use cases for that. The static variable implies once you scan this QR, it triggers you to put in an amount. For instance, you're at um, a, 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 a shop, a supermarket, uh, even you're at a uh, paint, um, a, 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 a suya seller, in, for instance, at, at night, and he has given you suyas, and he's telling you, that, okay, this is three, 500, so that means you're paying one five. You can negotiate, and you decide I'm paying one to your agrees. Once you, if he has his QR, he has a QR code at the stand. Once you scan it, you have the ability to input a 1,200, input the amount you want, and you make the payment. Now, the dynamic is very special. The dynamic expires after 10 minutes. It's, it's strictly for that particular transaction, and once it expires, it can no longer be used. I would like any of us to try and scan these QRs we've seen, and let's share the feedback we have launch your mobile banking app and navigate to the scan with nqr on your mobile banking app and scan these qrs how it works um you have your sme customers you have your retail customers you have those customers in your banks that don't have a corporate account but they are doing businesses fine you you create a qr code for them and i've showed you the types of qr codes we have you actually create it based on their business cases. In, for instance, um, I have a stand. I'm not particular about a fixed amount. I expect payments from different people. You will create a QR code that, meet that, um, that actually meets that 
um, need, which is a variable QR code, and that's what you give to me. I will take this QR code, I'll stick it in my store on, the, on my, I'll put it in an acrylic um, stand and put it on the on my tabletop. Now, when a customer walks in, all that customer does is to launch his mobile app, scans my QR app on my table, and the customer just inputs his pin and makes payments. Step one, I, as a merchant, I, as a um, share seller, I, as a big supermarket, I, as the Instagram seller or WhatsApp seller, I've been given a QR code by my bank. Either I place it in my store, and if I'm also an Instagram seller, I can always share my QR anyway. The party that receives the QR, all it does is launch his bank's mobile app, navigates to the scan with NQR or scan with QR menu, clicks on it, scans this QR, all the information around that particular merchant is displayed, the amount, the name, the details, he puts his pin and clicks on submit. Payment is made, merchant gets notified, I get notified, I get a notification, and you also get a debit alert. However, this is the difference. While you are being debited 1,000 Naira without an additional fee, I'm being credited 1,000 Naira less the fee. And that fee, as I said earlier, we'll discuss it later during the session. And that is how it works. What are the benefits to you and your customers for using NQR? Now, let's start with your customers first. And who is this customers? This is your merchant or whoever that can receive payment. So a seller. With NQR, the customer, the merchant is credited in real time. In getting this NQR to the customer, you actually are not going to incur any cost. Save, save the cost of printing the NQR sticker. If you're using a sticker or the acrylic um, acrylic stand, where if you want to put it on the stand, it's practically that's practically minimal cost. There's actually no cost involved. You're not buying any device. You're not requesting for um, a special means of um, of, of support. Not, not, there's actually no cost on boarding a merchant today. Now instant notifications and feedback to both the payer and pay, uh, pay, payee and the payer. We talked about the instant credit. Now we're talking about instant notifications so that both parties know when payments have been made. And that is also one of the benefits that the merchants will, will enjoy. Lower transaction fees across various price bands is way cheaper than whatever is out there. Little to no chargeback or dispute issues because it's riding on the I have NIPS um, NI payment infrastructure. It implies that everything around chargeback and dispute is at a minimal, um, it's minimal, it's actually reduced. Now we also have a reconciliation and reporting portal for the merchants. Now we've put in that additional environment that the merchants can actually go there and see what is happening. Now I'll quickly move over to the benefits to the payer. Now, using the NQR to make payments is at no cost to the payer. The payer bears no cost. It's also 100% secure. Um, the data is actually encrypted, implying that the information is transmitted between um, the device, come encrypted into a QR and routed to the system so that it's not, it can, it's not, it's not intercepted at any means. It's very secure, 100% secure. You can get this thing done in three steps. Log into the app, click on the scan with QR, scan the QR, put in your PIN, payments made. Now, what is the benefit to the bank? What is the benefit to your um, your branch um, income lines? Now, you you save funds on deployment of other devices. And if you can, you can look at it this way: which other device would have deployed to your merchant location to able to like do collections? You could have said, okay, create an in-branch teller point deploy a POS terminal, deploy one uh, collection solution at the merchant's location. In this case, you are deploying a just simple QR code that can be printed, can be put in a, in a, in a stand and placed at your merchant's location. So if you compare your costs, you see that you've saved your cost on acquiring those merchants. Now you actually gain 
revenue, um, you're opportunity to um, get again, um, at least as I said earlier, because right now you are, I, I, we are believe is that with with NQR, you have more merchants you can actually configure for this solution. That means increase in revenue generation opportunities you have from your merchants. It's interpretable. It's not restricted to just one particular bank. It's for all financial institutions out there. And what's, where NIPS comes in is that any bank's app can scan any QR code and the merchant gets um, the funds in real time and the uh, PI is debited and the bank gets its own commission from those fees. This to no chargeback or dispute issues. User friendly, the minimal trainings. Um, it's so easy to use. First things first, most of your customers are using mobile apps. First of all, that's, that's where we're starting this discussion from. Um, being able to use mobile app. Well, we actually look in the works, we're actually still exploring using other channels like the USSD channel, which is also as simple as, as ABC. But right now we're on the mobile app. It scans the QR code, makes its payment and puts in a spin. Um, as I said earlier, it's open to everyone. Micro, small, medium and large organizations, you can actually onboard them on, on QR, on NQR. A registration portal, an ability to actually give you APIs to actually create your own um, customer's experience. We have all this available for you. So we believe with all those benefits, it's, as I said earlier, revenue generation, cheaper acquiring costs, um, interoperable, more open to more customers, little or no chargeback, user-friendly, and ability to reconcile trade reporting portal. We believe this will actually makes it more um, user friendly or more a, a more pro, um, a, a superior proposition for receiving payments from your uh, for your merchants or company your merchants for payments collect for collections. That's that's our thoughts around this. What are the use cases for NQR? At a shopping mall, an online shopping store can be used also. At the markets, or majority of um, um, the sellers in the market might not have a bank account. This gives them a bit to open a bank account, get a QR that they can put at their stands and receive payments with QRs, QR payments. ATM locations, be able to scan on an ATM, on an ATM scan, your account is debited, you get your cash. Um, Uber-like taxis, whereby you can actually scan at those, at those, at those um, locations, whereby you're on a taxi ride, the taxi driver is giving you um, a QR code to make payments. You scan the QR and it's receiving his payment in real time. Even at the serious spot that I said earlier, the CR stand, he has a QR code there because this way is able to actually receive funds in real time. And just to also state it here. So for us in NIP, it's not just about bringing out a solution. We are trying to solve a number of problems and also deepen financial inclusion. So that is why we are looking at various means of reaching the end, uh, the, 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 the last mile in being able to receive payments electronically because once we're able to achieve that we're able to improve the number of um, customers we've brought on board into the uh, into the financial space and we will give them more benefits um, doing that now the other use cases bills payments using a restaurant that is the end of my session i've taken your time i'm sorry for taking making this long um as i say apologies but we've ended this um, training so we have questions please the floor is open for questions from any everyone.